Michael Douglas, David Beckham, Robert Kraft. What do all three of these men have in common? In all the images that I posted of these guys, they are wearing a contrast collared dress shirt. And me personally, I love wearing these types of shirts. These are the best type of dress shirts in my opinion because they add way more character than your standard white dress shirt or your standard blue dress shirt. One of the main reasons why I like these shirts is because they're not as common as they used to be. Back in the 80s or the 70s or the 60s, you'd see tons of guys wearing these shirts often. You won't see tons of younger guys wearing these types of shirts because they're not common or they're not popular right now. But in my opinion, I think they're very classic and I think they look very good and I think that you should give them a try. These contrast collar banker type shirts date back over 100 years. Originally, they were super expensive to produce because having a different fabric, a different color uh, on the collar and cuff would cost a little bit more and uh, a lot of guys didn't have the extra money to spend on those types of shirts. So these shirts were primarily reserved for the higher class. But now things are different. Everything is a lot more acceptable. Everything is a lot more affordable. And so me and you can buy these types of shirts. Also back then it was more prevalent that a white collar meant that you were of higher stature in society, that maybe your work was a little bit more valuable. And so having the contrast collar and cuff was something that showed prominence in society. Popular movies like Wall Street starring Michael Douglas made these shirts a little bit more popular because uh, the way that he wore those in the movie. How to wear a contrasting collar shirt correctly. The first step in selecting your contrast collar shirt is to decide what kind of collar you want. In this area, you have tons of options. You have a standard point collar like the one I'm wearing today. You have a spread, you have a cutaway, you have a pin collar, you have a tab collar, you have a mandarin collar. And so there's just a bunch of different uh, options for you to choose from and different things that you could try out. Me personally, I'll do like a collar like this, a standard point or a spread. I think a spread looks really good. My Hockerty dress shirt is a cutaway and I think it looks pretty good as well. A more bolder option for the collar would be something like a, a, a pin down collar. That is something I think looks nice. I don't have any of those types of shirts, but I'm probably going to get one in the future because I like the way that they look. They have a, a pretty nice elegance with them. Another tip I have for you guys is to make sure that the cuffs also match because a lot of guys, they buy these uh, shirts from department stores and they have a white collar, but they don't have the matching white cuff. And I think it just looks a little odd to have a white collar and a, a non-matching cuff. Also, be sure to pick contemporary colors, so like your, your blues, your grays, your pinks, those are going to be good uh, base colors, and then along with the white collar, the white cuff, it's going to look great. And then if you really want to complete the look, you can do this with a, a solid color tie or a tie with a very light pattern I found looks very good. That's just how I like to wear it personally. And don't be afraid to ditch the tie. I've done it before. I think it looks good having the contrast with the shirt open. I think it's a great look. So that's also a way that you can wear it if you don't like wearing ties. Now we're going to get into how not to wear a contrast collar shirt. Number one, do not select a shirt with a collar that has a different color than white. Every shirt that I've encountered that has like a polka dot textured uh, collar and cuff with a stripe uh, body or a solid color body, I think it just looks odd and it, it doesn't look natural. So don't get those types of shirts because they look kind of silly. Stick with white collar, white cuff, and then you can go with whatever color you want on the inside. But I do recommend you stick with your blues, your grays, uh, your window panes, a check pattern. I think those are gonna look as best, but you can also do something like a paisley as well. The second way to not wear a contrast collar is to wear a button down collar. Button down collars are more for relaxed looking uh, styles. And so wearing that button down with a contrast collar and cuff, it's gonna look a little bit odd. It's just not a natural historical way that people have worn these shirts. And then number three is going to be to stay away from really dark contrasting colors. So don't have a bright neon color inside the shirt. Don't wear a, a really dark color or a really solid color because those are not, they don't look good with this. You want to have something that is light, that is faint, that's going to just barely uh, contrast a little bit with it. The hardest thing that I would personally do was is like a stripe. I think a blue stripe looks good. It's a very banker look. Uh, and I think it looks really good. You could do that with the red tie, you could wear with a blue tie. Uh, those are, are some of the options, but I wouldn't do a solid dark blue or a solid dark green because those just wouldn't look right. And then the last way not to wear a contrast collar shirt is going to be with jeans. These types of shirts are more formal and so wearing it with a jean is not going to look right in my opinion. Some guys are able to pull this off, but me personally, I don't do this because I don't think it looks right. Now, you can wear a white dress shirt or a blue or something like that, 
with your jeans. But I would say don't do the contrast collar shirt because it's too formal and it really doesn't blend well with the natural look of the jeans. So guys, that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And with that being said, I'm Robert, this is Gen Style, and I'll see you in the next video.